what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel and yes as the name suggests this is the big one the one that everybody's been asking for so a couple of days ago i released a video where i had created some tables which had weapon firepower values on them at specific intervals and the idea of these tables were that you could then take a weapon which is not level 50 yet and you could look and compare those damage values to what's on those tables and then basically gauge what the weapon's damage would be if you level it all the way up to 50 without actually spending the material. So therefore you could, you know, throw away a weapon that's shit or hopefully find something that's actually pretty good and that you didn't know it was. Uh, the response to that video has been overwhelmingly positive. And again, once again, thank you very much for that. Uh, but th there's definitely been some requests saying, you know, can we have a working document, something that we can, you know, work out ourselves. And also it makes sense, right? Something that doesn't jump in intervals of five or something like that. And just overall allows you to look at that, uh, you know, in a, in a much more, let's say, visual way. Um, also, it's obviously something that you yourself can work with and you don't have to make screenshots of the video or come back to the video the entire time or something like that. So, yes, this is the one right now in the description below. You will find that Google Doc. And I wanted to create something that was aesthetically pleasing and easy to understand and easy to work with and that just basically worked at a glance and also something that you could keep yourself. Uh, once you click on this link, you're going to create your own copy of this file and you can go nuts with it and do whatever you want. Um, but before you run off and start playing with the file and start going through all your weapons and everything in your stash, two things. One, spend some time with me in this clip. Let's go through the file. Let's look at what the file can do and basically how it works, which is extremely straightforward. And um, let's also then do two tests in game so that I can show you that, you know, the file correlates with what we actually see in the you know game. And you don't have to take my word for it. You know, basically just showing you that the maths work. And as a bonus, there's also been some ask for armor to also you know appear and for me to also do a similar analysis to armor so the good news is this file has both it has weapons and armor so without any further ado let's jump into a view of the file and let me just explain some stuff about it so if you take the link from the description as i mentioned and i'll just put that in there you'll notice that it asks if you want to copy the document of course this is then your own version of it so i'm going to make a copy of it once I click that, it should open up the file. Now, just to show you, uh, I think the first thing what I'll do is I'll just change the zoom a little bit. So it's like this, right? And then you'll see here, basically in this box here, and I um, just wanna move my face. So you'll see that it says, enter your weapon firepower value in the relevant gray level box to see a max damage at level 50. So pretty self-explanatory. Let me put my face back where it was. Great, so um, you'll notice right off the rip that there are four tabs here. There's a rare blue weapons tab, there's a epic purple and legendary weapons tab, then there's a rare blue armor tab, and there's an epic and legendary armor tab. Uh, I'm keeping it this way. Uh, it's basically the way that I created the weapons uh, tables as well that I had in the previous video. And again, let me just explain the only difference really when you're upgrading rare weapons uh, to 50 or when you're upgrading epic weapons or legendary weapons to 50 uh, is that once you get to 50 with a blue weapon, you have an additional damage or an additional upgrade step that you can do. And that step is when you turn the blue item, when you up its rarity into a purple item. So it's if you have a blue item, it is definitely beneficial to just level it all the way to 50 first before you actually upgrade the rarity. Because the, the benefit that you get there is instead of using uh, titanium and drop out resources for the last couple of levels to 50, if you level in blue, you only use iron or uh, uh, leather for that matter if it's armor so uh, try to keep it on blue until you get to 50 and then only upgrade the rarity and that's just some helpful advice from me so as you can see here the point is just that you have starting at level five i didn't create anything before that because the point is once you create a game a new character and you start you pretty much end up being level four by the time you get to the first city so honestly it doesn't make any sense to have anything lower than that it's a sliding scale down like this all the way to 50, as I've mentioned, and all four tabs are built the same way. And as I've mentioned, you've got the first two which cover weapons and you've got your last two which cover armor. Now, addressing again another question which I see a lot in the comments, why is there no tabs for green items? 
the answer is simple green items cannot actually be leveled up so if you take a green item to dr zahedi you put it in there you'll see that there's no level up button you can actually level up to be able to level up one of those items you have to actually increase the rarity and the next level of rarity is of course blue so once you increase it to blue then you come to the blue track and boom you're good to go so just as an example let's say you show up with an item at uh you know level five over there and it's got a damage roll of 177 you put 177 in there and it's going to calculate for you all the damage out all the way and you're going to see okay this blue item that started at level five at 177 damage is going to cap out at 81k damage once i upgrade it to rare at the end Likewise, you can do the same thing on the legendary side and you'll notice here the upgrade rarity step is missing because of course it's already purple, right? So here again, let's say for instance you have a item that you've picked up at level 30. So you can go to level 30 here and you can say, okay, at level 30 the damage of this item was, I don't know if this is a good damage for level 30, it might be too high. Okay, that's actually quite terrible. But you can see if its damage at level 30 is 3550, five, then it's actually only going to end up being a weapon that does 40k of damage. I think that's terribly low. I don't think you'll ever see something like that. But in any case, the example stands. Likewise, if we go over to the, 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 the armor side, same thing. So if something has 900 armor at level 15, then this says that it's going to have 25k armor at uh, level 50 i also think that's an unrealistic role but in any case it suits the example so there it is that is the file that is how it works it's very simple and you don't have to worry about other people messing up your stuff this is once you click on the link you have your own copy of the file and you can go nuts enjoy it check out all the items use it to farm to your heart's content and never worry again about spending upgrade materials on something and then only realizing that it's below damage or it doesn't have a good armor value now for the last part of the video what i'd like to do is i'd move over live into the game and i'd like to test two items and just show you how that correlates with this file and the information in there and how basically this helps you Alrighty, so in the game straight off the rip let me address something else which i also sometimes see asked in the comment section and that is that when we look at let's take weapons first when we look at the sub stats here which is crit damage status power and long range damage the question is whether you get different levels of those rolled depending on also is that also a variable that can affect the overall quality of the weapon now the answer to that is i suppose yes and no but it's actually very simple the point is that every every item that falls even if it has exactly the same stats right so if i get another assault rifle to fall that also has crit damage status power and long range damage those can be different values but the upgrade system in the game which is the shards is what allows you to basically level that up to the maximum that it can be so even if it is at a low value you can bring it up to the maximum value with shards with again an upgrade system from dr zahedi what i mean by this then is that in armor you can see here that yes my armor has different armor values right this one is 11k uh this one is 10.6k and this one is 9.9k but if you look at the sub stats of all of my armor you'll see all of them have bonus firepower close range damage and long range damage on and all of them are 8038 10 percent, 10 percent. i didn't get them to drop that way they didn't roll that way for me they all rolled at different values but then when you go to dr zahedi and you spend the maximum amount of shots which i'll show just now then it'll upgrade it to that max level that means that every single piece of armor it doesn't matter what kind of armor it is once you fully upgrade it to level 50 you can get the maximum amount of firepower out of it which is 8038 and that's the same for any other stat as you can see long range damage and close range damage also being capped at 10 percent so let me show you what i mean by that i'm just going to go over to the good dock and open him up so the part that i'm referring to is if you for instance go to and i'll take a let me take this uh, grim inventor's mask here. you'll notice that the anomaly power on this is only 3617 the skills life leech is 3.25% and the cooldown reduction is 5%. If I go to raise attributes, you'll notice that I'm able to spend shards which come out of this category here, which you get from dismantling, you know, items. I'm able to spend shards on this, as you can see here, and that's going to get me to the maximum value for that. And you can do the same thing for every piece of gear. So the point being that skills life leech is always at a max value, 4.49%. 
Cooldown reduction is always at a max value, 7.49% on items. And you can do this for everyone. So this is not something that you have to worry about that it could roll low or something like that because you're able to bring it to maximum level with shards regardless of the item. So that's just it. Okay, so let's go to the experiment. What I've got for us here is I've got a level five uh, bolt action rifle, which I'm going to test with the, 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 the sheet that I've created or the document rather. And then I also have somewhere here, I have a level 35 blue glove, which I will do the same. So I'm testing armor and I'm testing weapon. Let's do the weapon first. So if we take the weapon here, we can see that the max value is 162, right? So then if I go and I put it into the chart at level five, because this is a level five weapon, I put my 162 in here. The chart's gonna show me that this weapon's gonna end up being maxed. Once I upgrade it to rare after leveling it to level 50, it's gonna be 74,700 in terms of damage, in terms of firepower. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna zip through the levels here quickly. So let me just click here and we're just gonna blast through them. I'm going to go all the way to 50, and then I'm going to upgrade the rarity as well. So we're going to get to 50, and that's my max level right there, and then I'm going to improve the rarity, boom. And you'll notice that it's at 74.5. My chart says 74.7. There is some variable here because the maths behind this is a percentage that sometimes you lose a little bit or you gain a little bit but this is very 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 close in terms of accuracy and like i said sometimes it's going to be like 200 over or 150 under or something like that but I, overall i don't think that changes the you know net result all that much so that's a weapon let's do the same thing for a glove now this one's a little bit different right so this one's at level 35 so once again using the chart we go to level 35 we punch in our armor value there of 1767 and this tells us that when this thing is fully leveled and upgraded to a rare, it's going to have a total armor value of 9226. Let's give that a go. I'm going to level it up all the way. This one's quicker. Love it. Okay. And then remember, got to increase the rarity to get the ultimate level. Let me just kick that. And this says 9225. The chart says 9226. That is super right on the pin, basically. And that's it. So there you go. This is basically, uh, you know, it in a nutshell. Have fun with the chart. Um, I hope that this helps you. Again, like I said, the objective here is obviously to, you know, sometimes at lower levels we might miss great gear, but you could also, for instance, pick up a legendary at a low level and you wouldn't be sure whether you should upgrade it all the way to 50. Is it going to be a good damage roll? Is it going to be a good armor roll? And so this will help you see that before you spend all that hard-earned titanium and drop out resources to get it to 50. That's it for the video. Have fun with the file. Uh, I'm sorry that it took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but like I said, I wanted to make it look a little bit nicer because my original Excel file was a straight-up mess and it was a nightmare. So yeah. Um, I just want to take this time to also thank everybody for you know the great comments and the support to the channel and just to the support to these videos in general it's been phenomenal and honestly you all make it super easy for me to make this content simply because you enjoy it so much and because the response is so great uh, it's really something that i find really interesting this is a part or a side of the game which really appeals to me as this kind of analysis and all of that alongside all of the farming and all of that stuff as well so thank you very much for the support go ahead and comment and then you know like down below let me know what you think about it let me know if the file works for you let me know if you have any additional questions anything like that uh, and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this and you want to see more stuff like this obviously at the moment right now i'm focused on art writers but the channel is not just an outriders channel and i will branch out to other games obviously as they come up this is just currently what's you know like my flavor right now um also do me a favor and let me know in the comments down below if there's anything specifically that you'd like me to address in a video or like me to look at in a video i'm always open to that uh, i love reading the comments i love interacting with this community uh, i think we're all in this you know together it's a little bit alarming right now that the developer is kind of like a little bit quiet and we still don't have the whole inventory issue resolved so that's a little bit alarming but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay positive and 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 trust people can fly studios you know that that they that they're working on it and that they know what they're doing and that they're not gonna nerf our shit. But in any case, thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate you, 
and uh this is coming to you on a friday evening so enjoy your weekend and have a great time um have a great morning have a great afternoon have a great evening wherever you are and until next video fucking cheers <laughs>